weapon spread. Okay. So we'll have to do. Repair Modify Plasma Shop um. Thirty-five. Shit, expensive. Okay. That's for... Twenty nine thousand repair. Okay, now we save. This is level twenty seven. Yeah, thirty, thirty five, two hundred four to three hundred six, three hundred eighty two, five fifty one. You know what? Let's try this one. Let us upgrade this shit. Ah, it's fifteen thousand. Plasma rifle. Plasma carbine. Yeah, that's eleven thousand. No, that's twenty six thousand. Here we go! 
Score one for Felix. and house them stuffed into one of those chambers.
Be right there. Melody. Did anyone see you come in here? Oh, help me, I'm gonna die. They're, they're gonna kill me. I was supposed to fix the gas system. Now I'm hiding for my damn life. Of course I did. It's my damn job. <laughs> but I can't go release the gas without authorization. I'd be fired. Um, being fired is worse, but maybe they won't find out. Uh, uh, all right, fine. The terminal there controls the FPS. The password is Tartar Sauce. All lowercase. One word. Tartar Sauce. Very well. All clear. I hope this all blows over soon. Oh shit. <laughs>
Chairman Rockwell. Great job, MSI!
are you? Because I'm not. Everything in my life has been leading up to this point. I am... Uh, I believe. I am ready for this. When I pulled you out of the hope, I never imagined you'd turn me over to the board. Planting a bug in my terminal? That's low. We could have saved this colony, you know. That was always the plan. I revive you, you do as I say. I tell you to go there, get me this, shoot that, and you do as I say. Hmm. If you just listened to me, we could have rescued everyone on the Hope. We could have been the saviors of Halcyon. But you didn't listen. No one in this damn colony ever listens. Fighting back! I've released every prisoner in Tartarus. We'll take this prison over, or die in the attempt! We will not go quietly into the night. And you, you may be a scientific prodigy, but I've got something you don't. Incipient senility, and a small army of crazed inmates. I don't care how many guns you've brought, if you try and stop me. By law, I'll bloody your damned nose. I'll beat you to a bloody pulp. I haven't lost yet. I've still got air in my lungs. I've got strength enough to fire a gun. And I've got Halcyon's greatest monster strapped to a chair. Adjutant Akande is my captive. If I'm to die here, then she's coming with me. <coughs> Go ahead. Well, yes. The adjutant is your employer, after all. I was expecting something of a reaction. Say what you will, but I can't risk letting you interfere. The only thing worse than Halcyon collapsing is this psychotic monster living to see it happen. If you insist on interfering, I will be forced to kill you, and I don't want that. Why don't you, backbiting, double-crossing ingrate? I loathe everything you've done, but I was the one who revived you. Oh, I hate destroying my own projects. I can't imagine we've got anything left to say. How would you know? You didn't spend your entire life working on this problem. I was never proposing reviving the entire ship. Not until we knew the colony was stable. All we had to do was revive a few people on the Hope. Scientists, engineers, brilliant minds like you and I. If we can't think of a solution, they will. Then we are well and truly spaced. 
My life's work has been an exercise in futility. The only honorable way to end it is to go down fighting. Surrender? Oh, I've had a bounty on my head for years. What do you expect will happen if I surrender? Torture. Execution. The board has already extracted the secret of reviving colonists from me. I'm no longer useful to them, so they'll make an example of me. You're trying to tempt me with your lies. It won't work. I'll never return to working for the board. Not if all the lives in Halcyon depended on it. Enough! I can't take any more of this. I know what you're trying to do, torturing me with your words. Reminding me of all my failures. Yes, I failed. There, I've said it. I'm a failure. I failed the colony. I failed myself. I failed you. Congratulations. You've broken me. Does that put a smile on your face, you monster? No. Oh, come on, no. So you found out. I suppose it's not enough that you ruin my every plan. You must also humiliate me by reminding me of my failures. Yes, I've killed people. Is that what you wanted to hear? I experimented on dozens of the Hope's colonists. Every last one of them died in agony. Yes, that's what I told myself. If I'd only kept trying, if I'd only kept experimenting, I'd discover the secret to reviving the Hope's colonists. I didn't care about the cost. I didn't question the morality of my actions. What are the deaths of a few dozen colonists weighed against the lives of hundreds of thousands? My best wasn't good enough. That's what I can't bear. I devoted my entire life to this project, and it wasn't good enough. I never was good enough. Whatever tomorrow brings, I don't deserve to be a part of it. I'm sorry for all that I've done, and for what I'm about to do. I'm sorry about all this. I'm sorry about everything. It's just, I just wish we could have. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Damn, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> wow. This really is a great game. Okay, save, 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 save.
Thank the law you're here. That madman was out of control. At least Wells did you the courtesy of saving you a bullet. I'll have one of my soldiers toss his body out on the surface. And what about you? You aren't hurt, I hope. Why shouldn't I be interested in the well-being of my finest agent? Not to mention my most valuable investment. You've put down the worst riot in our history. Rid the colony of a dangerous madman and saved my life. The board owes you a tremendous debt. We don't have a moment to lose. We're gonna have to work together to save Halcyon, because the situation is far worse than you imagined. <laughs> 